Hey, this is Catherine, owner of Phantom Designs and Skin Dealer. Ball Designs will be joining me on this tutorial on how to make a vector in Photoshop. So first what you want to do is import your image and then make a new layer on top of that. Clean layer by clicking this button right here. And then you're going to use your pen tool and zoom in to the area you want to do. So I'm going to do this first. You take your pen tool or path tool and make just your selection right here all the way around to wherever you want to go. And one thing with the pen tool is if you hold it down, it kind of curves a little. So if you want to do that, you can show how to do yeah. it. Yeah. So you can go like that. Yeah, it gives and a little bit curve. smoother look to the yeah, vector. Like that. Yeah. But the one thing is, is if you're going to be ending, which what you're going to do is you're going to be stroking the path. It will not stroke that path if it's like that. So you always have to end it on an actual point, not that. Yeah. That's and, one thing I've learned. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure your brush here is on three pixels and a hardness of 100%. And your foreground color, whatever color you want the outline to be. So most of the time it's going to be black. And once we finish um, stroking this, I mean, um, doing the path tool around this, we're going to stroke it and then fill it all on different layers. So if you want, you can leave out these triangles down here because they require a little bit more attention. And right now we're just getting the big area here. And so you can go back in later and do that to give it a more detailed look. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to right click if you have a mouse or tap with two fingers if you have a trackpad and you're going to say stroke path and choose brush and simulate pressure and click OK and again make sure your foreground color is set to black click OK and it should give you a black outline right here and then right click or tap with two fingers again and click delete path so you got an outline there and once you take away the background image you see a nice vector image and then we're just gonna finish all around here and then later when you're done with that we can come back here so for time sakes right now I'm just gonna do this one section and so we're gonna click on the foreground right here and sample this color click OK then go to the paint bucket tool if you don't immediately see the paint bucket tool you can right click or double tap on that icon and you can see all these different options so most most people have it on the gradient tool you just want to switch over to the paint bucket tool and so you can just click inside the black and it'll fill in then there actually I want to do that on a new layer so you keep the black there and then on the new layer on top of that you fill it in. Actually no. Hold on. You actually do it on here. And then to see how the um the black is a little bit behind the thing. So to fix that we're gonna um command J until it thickens up here. And so if you do it 10 times, you're going to have to do it 10 times for every single layer. And now you've got 10 copies of that, which you don't want. So what I do, I just go Command or Control if you have a Windows, Control E, and then that, do that 10 times until it gets back to the original. So you can just go like this. And there it is. Yeah, and one thing I do is I automatically make my pixel in the brush a little bit bigger so that when I do the paint bucket tool, I just click it multiple times and then it eventually just fills it in. That's another thing you can do in mm -hmm. that situation. Yeah, any of the options. So in the keyboard, keyboard shortcuts help a lot. Again, that was Command J to make a duplicate of the layer and Command E to merge it down. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for 5K. <laughs>